Hey crafty friends, how's everybody doing? As usual, I hope you all are having an amazing day. And I'm sure you can tell that I'm coming on with a little small Timu haul for you guys today. Um, I know most of you are already signed up, but just in case anybody isn't and they're interested, I will have a link down below if you are a brand new user and you use my link to download the app and then use my discount code you can get 30% off of your first order so I will put that in the description box oh you know what let me leave this here I forgot to put paper down so I just got a couple little things um stay safe uh a couple Timu hauls of a go of hers had a stamp set that um I really wanted and it had sold out and it came back in stock so even though I really shouldn't have placed an order right now I didn't want to miss out on it and now they have a ten dollar minimum since the last time I bought so I had to pick up a couple little things that I've had in my cart um, this is one it was a stack of 50 of these little tiny Ziplocs they fit into oh I didn't bring it over here but if you guys remember my last Timu haul I got the little booklet and these slide into it well it came with 20 of these but there's way more pockets than 20 so i um there we go it's a little tiny ziplock and i use it to put store my charms and things like that and keep them nice and organized at least i'm trying really hard to be an organized person but if y'all can see everything else that's around here <laughs> um i got these little butterfly pins um, is it taped? Oh, it is. It's taped. Sorry. I I just um was trying to think of a way to. I guess I'm gonna try to store all my ribbon. Is still on the spools, so it takes up a ton of space. So I was gonna try to wrap it around the cards, and I didn't have any straight pins. You know, once you get to all wrapped up, and then you use a straight pin to hold it the end in place so uh, I needed some straight pins and they had a few different designs and I loved the butterflies of course and these fun spring colors which I know this is nothing new to anybody I know most a lot of you guys have these but no I do too <laughs> oh and I couldn't pass these up I don't need this many I only needed one but you know how it is um but these are super cute and unique charms. And, oh, sorry about all the ink. I was, I had no idea I got all that ink. You'll see why I have all that ink in a minute. <laughs> um, But anyway, these are super cute. You guys know I got that die set of the art supplies. And so I'm going to make an art journal at some point. And these have been in my cart. They're super cute and it goes with it. And I haven't seen them anywhere else. So I didn't want to miss out on them. So I went ahead and got them, even though I don't need a whole pack. <laughs> and um, this is where all the ink came from. And it matches the die set and these charms. It was this awesome art uh, stamp set that Stace had gotten and I just fell in love with color makes life a little brighter it's got a die cut machine sending crafty hugs made with love a little ink pad some ink and paint some flowers we got the artist palette with brushes a pen nib some paint i just love it all so much and look i'm super excited about this i didn't even notice this when stay stay showed it but handcrafted for you bye and you can write your name in there i'm going to start using that i'm super excited about that too so i just love this so much and it matches my dice set and i also have these fun little charms to go with it so super excited i got that and then the last thing i picked up was uh nail strips you guys know uh, I think I've mentioned before that I do use the nail strips. Uh, I love Color Street. I've been using Color Street since before it was Color Street. It used to be called In Coco, and it was sold in Walmart stores exclusively, and they were five to seven dollars per pack. I always had super cute designs, and great quality and affordable for me. Somebody who doesn't 
not have, you know, I'm a page have always been a paycheck to paycheck kind of person. So, um, going and getting my nails done professionally was never in the budget, but those nail strips made it. Well, he had a great thing and, um, a bigger company reached out to him and he sold it and it became color street. And now I can't, it's out of my punch it again. So I've been getting the knockoff strips from some places and uh, Timu has some. So some of these are actually like stickers and not nail polish strips. And the stickers are not the same thing. They don't mold to your nail and I can't stand those. So I went ahead and took a leap of faith and tried out Timu to see what the quality was. And guys, it is worth it. As long as you know you're not getting Color Street, you're getting the knockoff but it's a good knockoff. This is them. I have them on right now. They work the same way as all my others. And in fact, some of the other knockoffs I've gotten are um, not as good as these. So super affordable and definitely, um, definitely worth the price. I'm so excited I got them. So I got this set here and we got this one. You know, I love my glitter. So, these are fun. I'm super excited that these worked out. I was going to be bummed out if they didn't. It's like, what am I going to do with this whole bag? But they did. They worked great. So... Thought I'd share that with you guys in case any of you guys like to use them. So how many were there? I don't remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten that I have on. Perfect. So yeah, I think that well, I think I paid three dollars or four dollars for this set of ten. So super happy with that. I'm very happy with everything I bought today. I love these. I mean, look at the, how well these stamps stamp, too. Plus, I'm using the um, awesome Stampin' Up! ink pads from Lori over at Peter Pie Designs. Go check her out if you haven't yet. She's an awesome, awesome lady. And, uh, yeah, so super happy with this little haul that I got from Timu today. And I hope all of you guys have an amazing day. See you later.